All right, so the, the next thing that I want to um, put together here is the roof plan. Um, the roof plan is going to help us, I guess, resolve what the envelope is and help you guys with the visibility of your floor plans um, and, and truly understanding where do I want to model walls on the second floor and where do I not want to and have them carry up. So um, the roof plan sort of has a, a few different levels. There's the top level, which is uh, this one right here, the dark, um, the dark black one. Then there's the lower level, or the middle level, I guess you should say, is uh, this one right here. It's the lower, uh, lighter gray one. And then you have this like parapet roof sort of structure right there. Um, let's jump back to some of the, uh, jump up, I should say, to some of the elevations so that we can truly understand what's happening with those roof structures. Um, the, so basically, I want, you to get, I want you guys to get in the practice of switching into different various views in order to get the information you need, because that's what we have to do every day when we're trying to look at plans. Um, but basically, what you see is that, that higher roof, that T-shaped roof, the dark black one, that's this one at the top right here. And what you'll notice is that it goes up to a ridge, and then it comes back down but it doesn't come back down all the way. There's actually an eave here as well. Um, so what that is telling us is that the, the T for the eave stops and then the rest of it goes down, um, goes down uh, in the middle spine. That's right here, right? So that, that T stops and that's the eave I was calling out and then the rest of it continues to slope downward here on the left-hand side. Um, so I think that's probably gonna be the, the first one we'll model. Um, and then we'll model the, the lower one here in just a moment. But uh, I also want to point out the fact that they call out for a three-foot overhang on the roof. And I guess it's three-foot overhang on the um, north and south side. I'm wondering if they call out um, east and west. Two-foot overhang east-west, okay? Does that make sense? So where it's, where it's sloping down, you're going to go for a three-foot overhang, and where it's, um, you know, perpendicular to the slope, it's going to go for a two foot overhang. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But we need more information, I think, before, um, before we go on. So let's go back to the elevation. Here's what I want you to pay attention to. We have a roof plan level and we have an eave right there. Okay, there's structure there. Um, it's a little hard to see. There's a, a, a beam right there, and that beam is precisely aligned with um, the, the level, okay? So essentially what that means for us is our roof structure, when we program it, is actually going to be aligned to that level, okay? But we have it sloping, based, and, and I'm doing this generally right now. First it's gonna slope up to the ridge, then down to that level again, but the rest of it is gonna continue to slope down. So the key is, where do I establish the slope for this roof? Um, let's, let's do it very generally at first, and then we'll calibrate it. So let's go back into Revit. Um, we need to go to the roof plan, and I'm just going to maximize this one real quick. All right, so that's, that's our roof plan. And remember, roof plans are profile view um, elements. So you look at it in plan view, and you draw where the extents are first. Let's go to architecture. We're going to go to um, roof, and side note, um, notice when I made my view smaller, it, uh, the, the tools all got a little bit smaller, so it might take you a moment to find some things, but roof is right here on mine, so I'm going to click roof, and um, I think what I'm going to start with is... Uh, I'm going to start with wood rafter. Well, no, actually, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the generic roof. Sorry. So, um, generic roof, 12 inches, um, and basically, I have to draw the profile. So, I'm going to go to draw, and select a line. That's right here. Yours might look a little differently. So, the way that I'm going to do this, since it's like different dimensions in all directions that I need to do an overhang, is I'm just going to draw the profile on the wall and then move the, the overhangs out. So I'm gonna start here and just go straight across to here, down to here, to there, to there, to here. And I believe that that's aligned 
I'll find out in a moment. I'll verify it. Um, let me go back up to roof plan. Yeah, that's aligned on grid line four. Yeah, grid line four. Yeah, that looks funny to me. No, no, it looks all right. Okay, so um, so I need to move those overhangs. So remember, I said it's uh, three feet in the north-south extensions, and it's uh, two feet in the east-west uh, dimension. Yeah, two feet. Okay, so I'm going to take this line and this line, move it two feet out that way. This line and that line, move it two feet out that way. And then uh, this one, three feet up. This one, this one, this one, three feet down. Okay, so that's how I did that since it's irregular and it's custom to each one. Um, something that you need to be aware of when it comes to roof um, structures. So uh, roof, roof structures are, when you have a complex form for a roof here, you need to set a, a very specific datum for where that roof starts and stops. And if you leave information out or extend information beyond, then it's going to adjust to that. So if you cut a hole in it, it's just going to cut a hole in that roof, but it'll slope otherwise. Um, or if you extend a leg, like this bottom leg down here, right? If you tell it, if you don't define a slope for those elements, it will continue a slope that you're programming. Okay, does that make sense? So um, I want you to pay, pay very close attention to this, every single one of you. Every single one of you. Okay. Um, so the way this is going to work is since I'm sloping, um, since I'm sloping this way, right? These are the ones that are tied to the level, and I'm sloping up from there. Um, what I do is I turn all other edges off of slope, and then I let the the programming do the rest. So let me uh, turn this off, and I'm going to turn these two off here. Okay, so let me make myself abundantly clear. This line and these two lines are the only ones that I programmed to slope. Okay, um, and I'm going to select all three of those, and I'm going to program what the slope is, but I need to find it first. Let's take a look here. This might not even tell me an elevation. Might need it in section. Bummer, it doesn't tell me what the slope is. Well, that's annoying. Well, I'm going to guess. Um, that looks like it's probably... Let's go to like uh, 3 to 12. Try that. Um, let's see, so 3 to 12, yeah, all right. So basically, when you type in a positive slope of 3 to 12, um, wherever the roof uh, mass is in that, in that area, right, it's going to slope up from that line. So let me hit check. I'm going to hit no for now because I just want to make sure that that roof is the shape that I wanted. Um, and let me go back out into 3D, and I'll look at it here. Okay, so that is approximately, I mean, it's the right roof shape is what I'm getting at. Does that make sense? So we, we took the back line and we took these two front lines and we said, I want it to slope up from those. But I left all the information in this little, you know, leg, the leg of the T out. And so what it did was it just kept going along the same slope that I pre-programmed. Is that clear? Cool. Um, yeah, so if you change anything, if you make something else slope, like we could turn it into a hip roof if we make one of the sides slope, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not exactly sure if I nailed that slope correctly. I think it needs to go a little lower. That's pretty close. It's pretty close. Let's see. That's probably, like, I'm guessing that's about another foot and a half to the bottom, and we've got... Four and a half, so let me go back into that. Uh, I need to go back to my roof plan. Say edit. I'm going to select uh, this, this, and that. And let's make this a uh, 3.5. And 
Maybe it's four inches then. So um, normally you guys wouldn't, oh, also side note, if you guys happen to be working in uh, three-dimensional views, you can actually edit this stuff right in 3D too. Very nice. Yeah, so that's pretty useful sometimes when you're, like, when you don't have the right view open and you need to edit a profile and it's very easy. I could just do this right here. So I'm going to select those and switch this to a four-inch. And let's look at that in elevation. All right, two foot four, that looks pretty close to the slope that you see here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that just for simplicity's sake. We're gonna go with four inch to a foot slope for the roof. Is that, is that clear enough for you guys?